Hello, okay, so I'm gonna do an impromptu video right now after doing my morning reading. So I do usually have a second deck over here, an Oracle deck or a Lenormand deck when I am doing my morning um, three card tarot readings for my shorts. The reason is, is that it is a uh, general overall reading and it's very helpful to have some sort of, what is the question, what is the theme, um, what is trying to come through for everybody to kind of have that ahead of time to know what the reading is about. Okay, give some context to the general message, not just a what's the message today. Okay, so in interpreting the cards, I today has kind of blown my mind a little bit. I love the synchronicities. I love the surprises <laughs> that you come across as you are diving deeper in the cards. So learning and interpreting tarot is, it's a lifelong pursuit, okay? You are always constantly learning and seeing more and understanding deeper. So I wanted to show you something I saw after I did this reading and um, I will link the short down in the comments below in case you wanna see the actual short that goes with this reading. So the cards that I pulled from the Lenormand deck here were the path card, the bridge card, and the book. So the book usually represents wisdom. The bridge is of course going over uh, water and you have the path. So when I saw this immediately, I knew that this was choosing your life path, the right hand, the right path for you. And this is bridge over troubled water and wisdom. Okay, so I didn't quite understand how that linked together at first other than it was wisdom and the right path and bridging some troubles. Okay, so pulling that off to the side here, I then pulled these cards and we have the message of, you know, crossing the bridge to your destiny from troubled time, you know, from what wasn't meant for you to what is. And you can see she's in the water here, but it's the wisdom that is bridging the gap for her and these three flowers here are letting she's letting go of what wasn't hers and on the right hand she has what is but what stood out to me is it is amazing how there are layers upon layers upon layers of ways to interpret the same message from the same cards spirit really has an amazing way to show you deeper levels of information. So after doing this reading, I recognized the hands and the body positions in the cards. If you look on the left on the justice card, this is her in her old world, okay? She is facing us in this image. The sword is in her right hand, the battles, the struggles, the conflict. She's sitting on buildings, so maybe a corporate career or a um, going with the standards of life in general, like following what everybody else is doing, living that type of a life. And her head, her hair is these storm clouds. Now her back is to her future because she's focused on all these troubles. And in her left hand, is the scales of balance and justice. And in her left hand, you can see she is on the left side of these scales. It's not what's meant for her in the long run, but all her focus is on the troubles and the anxiety and the stress that being in the wrong position is. She doesn't even realize that she's facing the wrong direction um, as she's going through these struggles. Now, what she has done in the next card is she has turned her back on those struggles and she is deciding to release them and let them go. So now her right hand, instead of on the sword, is on this staff which holds her destiny, her future, everything that is meant for her. Though she's still looking towards that past, learning from it, understanding it, gaining some wisdom and knowledge from it, and but her back is to it she's releasing and letting it go and she is holding her left arm into her like she is protecting it and healing it while she is observing what the past brought her okay so now her hand is on the right path but she's still looking to the past 
And now here, she's taken one more step forward like she's moving in a circle in the direction or the compass facing what she's facing. And now she is facing forward again. And her right hand is crossing her body, holding onto the curtain on um, the right the right side of our screen here, right? So for purposes of the reading, the left and the right. So her hand, her right hand is now on the right side and her left hand is concealed, okay? Because the forefront, the focus is her path, her journey. And you see the ship below on the troubled water, but her arm and that ship it's kind of, her arms are building this bridge through this wisdom. This wisdom is the bridge, but the bridge is also bringing her to the wisdom that she needs for her destined path. So the scales here are the path on the, on the card, the arms and the body position and the, um, direction her head is facing as she's like doing this circular dance through time and shifting and changing her grasp on reality, what she is holding on to and what she is focusing on. This is that bridge over troubled waters. Yes, that's not an easy dance to dance and it has brought some turmoil and some pain in releasing and letting go, but it's been well worth it. And then you see here the wisdom, the book of wisdom. She has gained this high priestess status now, this deeper intuition and wisdom and knowing and balance in her life that was really truly meant for her. And yeah, these troubled waters are still kind of slowly moving out of the way, but she's now facing in the right direction and you can see in her mind in her hair it is clear clear skies no more storm clouds and the sky is the limit and she is surrounded by stars and the moon um, and you can see in the middle how the distance it's really foggy so sometimes when you're going through this transformation this transition it is um, unclear. You're maybe not in the storm clouds anymore, but it's foggy, it's dense, it's you're wading in water, you know, it's up to your knees and you're, you know, the storm's gone, but you're still kind of cleaning up the mess. And so here you're finally stepped into, you've crossed that bridge to your destiny. I mean, that was, that's just amazing. So I might do more readings like this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if I have these intuitive hits and these more intense um, explanations than I can describe in the one minute that I have to do a short reading in the morning, um, if this helps you to understand different ways to interpret the cards, to read them, to pull information from them, I would love to share this with you, this raw uh, experience of mine experiencing the interpreting of the cards. Um, let me know. All right, I hope you are blessed and have a great day. I will see you all next time.